It's Cami, and um, there's been a little bit of confusion on how to get two PlayStation 4 consoles to be playing the same digital license game that you bought on both simultaneously. So I thought I might uh, make a video to show people how exactly that works. So here in, um, I'll call it, uh, you know, room one, we have my PS4, you know, here whatever there it is so we have my ps4 and of course on my ps4 all these games such as the playstation plus games so if you guys are known contrast and resogun these are all my playstation plus games so i am allowed to play these games because you know i bought sound shapes but these are my games i'm allowed to buy them but for instance, you see that Battlefield has a lock on it because that's my husband's game. If I try to play it right now, it's going to tell me this. The application can be started only by a user who has a license for it. So, you know, you'd figure, okay, these are my games. I can only play my games on my console. No, there's a way to work around that. And what you would do is I'm going to, you have to basically activate your console as a primary user in different areas. So let's, uh, let me log out of my PS4. And then since my husband is the one who owns the license for Battlefield, I'm going to activate, I'm on his name, I'm going to activate it as uh, this, I'm going to activate my console as his primary, just so that I actually have use. You go to PSN, you go to activate as your primary PS4, and you're going to go to activate. Now, what's good is you're allowed to do this uh, uh, a limited amount of times. Activate, deactivate, doesn't really matter. So now I know it's activated. A good other thing I like to do is restore licenses just in case you have problems. Like it says here, if you bought something or downloaded something and the license isn't correct, you just restore it. So I like to restore it. I wouldn't restore it every time, but I'm just throwing that out there. That'd be, a, that'd be something you could try. So now we back completely out. And now that I activated his console as the primary user. If I log back onto my account now, so if I log back onto my account now, as this is my PS4, you should see that Battlefield does not have the uh, Battlefield does not have the lock on it. Now, these still don't have a lock on it because I bought these games. They're my games, so that's why they don't have a lock. So now I am access to these. So let's see about doing this on the other console. Okay, we're here in the bedroom, and we have the other console. You can tell, but this time there's only two users. So this is his account. Um, so let's log on to his account, and I'll show you again. We, it's the same thing. We go over these, and it says that he can't have access, he has access to Battlefield because he owns Battlefield, but he does not have access to Contrast, all these PlayStation Plus games, including this, which is my content. So what we do now is we just do the opposite to get us both to be able to. I'm going to log out. And I'm going to go onto my username because I am the one that owns the content. And we're going to go to exactly where I said, PSN. We're going to activate this co his console now as my pre primary PS4. Okay. And now that I have it activated, if I go back on his name, see, and this is just to show you, I'm on my name on a different PlayStation, and I'm on, um, I'm on his name on a different PlayStation. But I still have access. See, they don't have, well, that has a lock because that's his. But they don't have the lock because these are my, this is my content. So, logging out. Now, if I log on his account, he should have access to all my plus content because I activated this console as my primary. And there you go, Resogun, all these, they do not have the lock on them anymore. So that's how you get to be able to pretty much pay for the game once or have one 
plus account if you know you have a sibling or you have a, a spouse like I do and you guys want to share one plus account and not have to pay twice, this is how you get it to work. And it's not that big of a deal. It's just a matter of, you know, it's just a matter of activating uh, your con activating the other person's console. And of course, the only reason that works is, you know, to explain why is this console is reading my, this console is my, is my husband's console, but it's reading it as a secondary console. So therefore as a secondary console, anything that's his like battlefield, this is the only thing that says he can play. It doesn't matter if it's a secondary or not. He could actually go to a third console, download battlefield. As long as he's logged into his account, you know, as long as he's logged into his account, it would work at that point. Battlefield would be able to play. So the same concept goes towards my PS4, my PS4 in the other bedroom, I can download, you know, same thing, what it, my games that I purchased to a different PS4 console, I log on to my account and I can play it. So by activating this console, my husband's console as my primary, now it's telling me, oh, well, since that's your primary, everyone else on that account has access to your, to your stuff. And then for him, since he has his activated on mine, it does the same thing. And in turn, we both get to play it. And we both only have to play on one. Um, we both play on, on, on one PlayStation Plus account.